welcome students from chapter 2 the computer system today we are going to discuss on two topics the second video lecture from chapter 2 the today's topic uh, before going to start let us see the previous class what we have learned in the previous classes we have learned about the input processing unit input processing and output after giving input how it is processed and as output how it will show that already have learned and the characteristics of a computer already have learned under characteristic we have learned strengths uh, under the strengths speed accuracy high capacity storage diligence versatility limitations also we have learned uh, um, the limitations uh, that a computer cannot take the decision by himself for that the user need to be programmed for a, to perform a specific task applications of a computer from that we have learned business entertainment education in particular the uh, this fields a few fields uh, the computers are using besides that we can say this almost all the fields computers are using no? and already i asked you to find out uh, some uh, name of the fields or area where the computers are using which is not given in the uh, chapter no? okay so this is the previous class which we have already completed um, and today's topic is the computer system the computer system will learn the hardware and the input in it so <clears throat> let us start the today's uh, class the first is the computer system and hardware the computer system comprises both hardware and software there is computer the cpu inside cpu covers uh, the inside the CPU, motherboard, hard disk, RAM, all these are hardware. And to operate that hardware, we need the software also. So that's why a computer system comprises both hardware and software. We'll see the figure where the how the computer system is working. And hardware. Now, what is hardware? We have to know that the physical components of a computer system are called hardware. The physical components mainly, you know, the CPU, hard disk, motherboard, RAM, CD-ROM, all these are you know, hardware. A computer system basically consists of the following physical components. Main is what? Input unit, central processing unit, which comprises a processing unit, the control unit, and the arithmetic and logical unit. And a storage unit, the main memory, auxiliary storage, and output unit. And this components we'll see in detail now. Eh? Mainly what? Input unit, the central processing unit is CPU, and which comprises the processing unit, control unit, arithmetic, logical unit. Uh, the control unit, what will happen? It will, um, arithmetically and logically, it will be process it. And the storage unit here, the main memory, it will store is the auxiliary output in it will be it is there so let us see how it has works no? so on that uh, this is this is the picture or the figure of a cpu how it has worked the central processing unit inside the cpu inside the CPU, how it is works, we'll see that, you know, the central processing unit. And here, input and instruct data. This is the input of, for, through the um, uh, keyboard, we'll give input data. And it will go to the control unit. In the control unit, what will happen? Interprets stored instruction in sequence and uh, issues commands to all the elements of the computer. Then after going there, what will happen? After going there, it will arithmetic and logic unit. What will do? It will perform arithmetic and logical operation. It will it will process it. 
arithmetically and logically then from there it will send to the main memory yeah holds data instruction results of processing where after processing by this arithmetic and logical only it will send to main memory where data and everything is stored and from there it will return back to the logical unit again logical unit will collect from the main logical will collect from here main memory and after that it will send to the control unit again and from the control unit what will happen it will send to the output as here you can see the output how it will display result of processing it will display on the screen okay and this is auxiliary storage supplement means pen drive and all you can connect it no <coughs> and this is data signal control signal data signal and control signal this is the icon which is they have given here the data signal and control signal so first of all we will give it input to the keyboard then it will go to the control unit and from the continuity unit uh, where is the control unit in the cpu so from the continuity unit it will send it to the arithmetic logically it here arithmetic logically it will process it uh, after that it will send it to the main memory to collect the correct processing of the data and uh, logically correctly just processing that data to find out in the memory and according to the instruction of the arithmetic logical unit main memory will send the data to the arithmetic and logical unit and again from the logic uh, arithmetic and logical unit it will send it to the control unit okay control unit then from the control unit it will send it to the output side where the output we will see on the monitor okay this is the way the computer system is working okay so the computer system how it works with the help of input unit then control unit in the control unit it will uh, arithmetic and logical it is there where it will arithmetic and logically operation it will perform um, uh, pro after the to process then after it will go to the main memory that is hard it's in the hard disk it will collect according to the correct processing and logically arithmetically processing correct information will collect from the main memory the main memory will send back to the arithmetic logical unit and from the logical arithmetic logical unit will go to the control unit and from the control unit then it will show on the output device okay so with this uh, let us see the next is what is the next the input unit okay so input in many input unit just i said with the help of the uh, through keyboard we can give input to the computer besides that many input units are there how we will see those thing in this chapter or in this topic sorry. so what is input unit first we have to know that the input unit comprises the input unit comprises this is the input unit uh, comprises of input devices attached to the computer the most commonly used input devices is the keyboard the most common input device is keyboard only the keyboard only are typing giving the input and all no? A number of other input devices have been developed. Besides this, the commonly used one is keyboard. But besides it, a number of other input devices has been developed that do not require typing for entering data. These are known as pointing devices as they allow the user to select something on the screen by pointing to it. Let us discuss some input devices here now. Okay, uh, mainly the input devices. What will do? Uh, giving the input uh, for typing and all keyboard we are using for input. But besides that, many other also there which we are using as input, but not for typing, but for some for some other purpose. Let us see them. 
keyboard first is keyboard a keyboard is used for what purpose and then data directly into the computer it resembles a typewriter console on pressing a key or a group of keys a unique set of binary digits are generated and sent to the computer the computer uses this binary digits to represent a particular so through the 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 keyboard when you are typing then it will give the input uh, to the computer and computer will collect a, a group of keys or maybe one keys when we are pressing that uh, set of uh, string it is called one stroke one stroke no? one keyboard one key button you are going to press it is called one stroke plus or more than a group of stroke when you are giving it will collect as a binary binary code means as a zero and one it will collect it and it is generated uh, to the generated and sent to the computers and computers understand by the binary digits they represent of what quantity so need to keep it as a output okay so next is mouse a mouse is a pointer device used for moving a pointer on a computer monitor when the user moves the mouse across the flat surface you know that the mouse we are using for our purpose the culture we can move it from left to right corner anywhere no? for that purpose we are using the mouse pointer next is light pen a light pen is a pointing device that can be used to select an option by simple pointing it on the computer screen so uh, like uh, mobile touch screen is there no so instead of that instead of the finger you can use the light pen to select and all even the touch screen uh, monitor also they are there you can use the light pen and all instead of using the finger it consists of a photo cell mounted on a pen shaped tube and is capable of sensing a position on the screen when it is tip in a contact with the screen so light uh, pen you can see the light pen how it has works the picture has given here picture is given here you can see yeah just touching the area where you need to select or click it and it will work as a touch screen so with the help of the light pen we can do these things okay and next is trackball trackball is what it's like a mouse only but on the mouse you can see on the middle of the mouse one roller is there but here one trackball is there a trackball has a ball that can be rotated in a different directions to move the pointer or the screen such a device is usually found in laptops like laptop touchpad is there no that touchpad you no need to move it just you need to uh, um, touches the surface of the touchpad with the finger and the finger you move it and according to that the pointer will be moved on the screen same way on the trackball you just rotate the track ball and your uh, finger or uh, the uh, cursor or the the movement of the cursor it will see it is uh, moving on the screen so with the help of track ball you can move the cursor or the pointer of the mouse it can be moved on the computer screen so how it will be moved you need to rotate in different directions okay then next is from the input you need many inputs in which are there we are going to learn it will not be complete completed within one uh, class so next day of class also we see some other work next is joystick joystick you know already no joystick uh, mainly for playing games and all no? joysticks uh, that can be moved the control on the screen object it is used to play computer games although a keyboard can also be used for game playing games joystick provides a better control actually you know um, keyboard also you can use but joystick is giving a better control no next is graphics tablet the graphics tablet is what a graphics tablet or design uh, digitizer allows the user to create digital drawing by hand writing images on a flat surface or a tablet for example you see um, 
digital classrooms are there. So on the screen also, you can write it down with the help of the light pen. Or instead of that, if you have a graphics tablet, then you know how to look at the screen. That tablet, you connect to that device and by sitting on the table and all, on the tablet, whatever you will write, that will display on the screen. For that purpose, a digital pen uh, you know, for taking class and all, it, it is easily use, uh, use it. Or one of the benefit of a person who is going to give a lecture and all, instead of going to the big screen again and again, it can be right on the graphic tablets and it will show on the big screen. Okay, so the graphic tablets also use as a input unit. Next is scanner. A scanner can be used to convert a photo photograph or a printed document into a digital file. There are different types of scanners in flatbed scanner. The document to be scanned it is placed face down on a glass plate. A drum scanner uses a rotate glass drum to scan document. So scan already, you know that uh, uh, the shop, the computer printer is there, the, uh, the printer comes scanner, they are the document they used to keep on a glass, then they will close it. After that, when it will press the, for copying, or oh, sorry, for scanning, then one drum, glass drum will uh, move with the light, with the light it will move, uh, it will give focus with the light, and after that it will be scanned as a digital file. It may be photo also, it may be document also. So scanner also, it is uses for, using for input. Uh, a printer, you can say the, the, the all-in-one all printer, three-in-one printer, you can say this is using for output device also as input device also. Input means for scanning, output is for printing. Next is digital camera. A digital camera takes a video or still photographs or both digitally by recording also images on a light sensitive sensor. Digital cameras can include features like displaying an image on the camera screen soon after it is recorded. The capacity to take thousands of images on a single small memory device. The ability to record video with sound and the ability to edit image also. So digital camera, with you know digital camera, it is also input device. To take video, photograph, or both, or you can record also. Okay, so today, after this, from this chapter, second video, we have what we have learned. Let us see the summary. The summary before going to homework, we, the, uh, we have learned how the computer system is working. Hardware, what hardware is required? The computer system is comprises both hardware and software. Hardware is um, uh, the CPU inside the CPU, motherboard, hard disk, RAM, CD ROM, RPR. To operate that, you need the software. We we'll learn that about the software also later. And hardware input you need, how to give, uh, when you'll give input. Uh, then it will go to control unit, eight, uh, then it will go to arithmetic logic unit, then from the arithmetic logic unit, it will go to the main memory. Again, from the main memory, it will go back to the arithmetic logic unit, then it will go to the control unit. After that, it will display on the monitor. No? And next, what you will learn input, uh, many input devices no? keyboard, mouse, light pen, trackball, joystick, graphics, tablet, scanner, digital camera. No? So, today this much and uh, this is the homework only five questions which i have uh, given and it is shown on the screen you can see please do it and send it okay hmm? thank you very much